Hey, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna show you how to set up and use a technique called split lighting to add mystery and intrigue in your own portrait shots. Hey, it's Matt Anderson from Viewfinder Mastery here, where we teach you all kinds of skills that help you take your photography further. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and you'll find all the links to everything that we've described in this video down in the description box below. Light is such a crucial aspect of portrait photography and such an important creative factor when it comes to the mood of your photos. So in this video, we're going to explore a technique called split lighting, which is a particularly moody and mysterious light and we're gonna show you exactly how to set it up step by step. We're also including a bonus tip at the end so that you can get another cool look out of this lighting setup very quickly and easily. Today we're joined by the beautiful Celia and it looks like she's all ready to go, so let's get into it. Okay, first things first, what the heck is split lighting anyway? So split lighting is a side lighting effect that gives your shots a unique, mysterious, and creative look. This technique basically just lights half of the face leaving the other side in deep shadow, and it's very dramatic. Split lighting is also a great way to practice your lighting skills because it's not complex and it doesn't require a lot of gear. Remember, the more you practice this stuff, the more you'll be able to master these skills and reproduce the effects easily on your own. For this kind of shot, one light is really all that we need. And in fact, we're gonna use flash, but you could improvise with a lot of different light sources at home. Both hard light and soft light could both work equally well for this shot, it really just depends on what your preference is and what you have available to you for equipment. So we'll be taking the edge off of our light today, softening things up with a small $20 softbox, and we'll be sure to put the links in the description below. In case you're interested in knowing, I'll be shooting today on the Sony A9 Mark II, and I'm using the 85 millimeter F1.4 G Master lens. Thanks very much to my friends at PNM Photo Media in Lucerne for sending that over. However, any old camera and a medium length lens will do for a shot like this. What's more important is setting up the light. It needs to be 90 degrees from where our subject is sitting, and it's best to have the light source about head level as well. If this ends up being placed too far around the front of our subject, then we're going to get some light spilling across the face into that shadow side, and that's going to ruin the mood of our shot. The other important thing is that the distance of this light shouldn't be very far away. Notice that mine is quite close to my subject, and if you're using a light source that's about this size, I would encourage you to keep it about a half meter or closer to where your subject's positioned. Okay, we're getting some great split light shots here. If you find yourself feeling like the shadows are just a little bit too dark on your portrait, what you could do is add a fill light directly behind the camera. I've just got a flash behind this umbrella. Um, the umbrella is going to soften the light so that it matches my main light source, and I'm interested to see how these next couple shots look. One more improvement that you could make to this photo if you have a third light is to set up a hair light right behind your model to help bring her out of that background and add a little highlight around the top of the hair and the shoulders. This will provide a little bit of separation and it's gonna look great in this case because my model has amazing hair. Okay, one thing I noticed in my pictures is my model was getting a little bit more light on her shoulder and on her ear because of the way the light was positioned off to her side. So if you notice that happening in your shots, one thing that you can do is to just turn your light source away from your subject, back toward the camera, in fact. This should help you even out the lighting effect so that you don't have a distractingly bright shoulder or ear in your shot. Great. Okay, I promised you a bonus tip, and here it is. You can easily convert your split lighting arrangement into a profile light. Profile light is also a very creative and fun way to shoot, and actually all we have to do here is turn our subject towards the light. Okay, so with my subject facing straight into the light like this, I'm just going to slip my main light back a teeny bit so that we get a little bit more of a dramatic modeling effect on her face 
from my camera position here. And that's it. We're ready to shoot profile light. Well, that was a lot of fun. Thanks very much for the help, Celia. And we've got a lot more waiting for you where that came from. So head on over to viewfindermastery.com where we've got full length tutorials, thoughtful feedback, and a really fun community of photographers that are waiting for you to join in. And while you're there, go ahead and download our free top 10 purchases guide if you'd like some advice on must have gear items that won't break the bank. So be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss our next video and we will see you in the next one. Bye.